Hey, good evening, Scrapper and Scrapettes. Check this out. This is a massive, massive water heater. Uh, I have never seen one this big. I mean, it literally has, I would say that's an inch and a half inlet. I've never grabbed one this big. Luckily, it was empty uh, because, I mean, just empty, this thing was heavy. Uh, I am five foot ten. This thing comes up to my nose. Now, it did kind of uh, regurgitate all over my trailer, which is fine. It came around the backside of a department store, and there it was. And believe it or not, I was on the phone with Jimbo Scrapper. Jimbo Scrapping, guys. Check them out. Check out Jimbo Scrapping. But uh, I've never seen one this, this crazy big. Uh, I'm going to want to say it's at least 100 gallon. I remember seeing electric ones this big. But according to this thing here, it's got nine elements. So let's open this up. We ready? We ready? What do we got? Oh, good Lord, look at this. Look at this. Ooh, dog, look at, look at, look at, nine elements. Nine elements there, scrapper and scrap pets, nine. There's a, uh, wow, nicely done too. Look, look how neat this is. We've got fuses, fuses right across here. We got 12 fuses, three really nice chunks of aluminum right there. This is all 10 gauge copper. We're gonna strip that all out. Yep, 600 volt, that's all 10 gauge. Yes, it is. We got a decent amount in there. And then we have the thermostats. Each one, there's nine thermostats total in this thing, nine. So yes, every single one of those will come out because yes, each one of them has silver in it. Right inside here, you pop this little plate off right here. Maybe we'll do a video on, on thermostats from water heaters, seeing I now have, holy Christmas, a whole ton of them. And uh, we also got a little water heater that we scored the other night. And this little thing, this uh, I think it's a 30 gallon, this has got two thermostats in it and two elements and some nice 10 gauge wire that we're going to strip out and we got my favorite we got some brass right here we'll pull that out and uh yeah i think there's a chunk of brass on this one too if i remember yep right down there and we got some more brass right there we got a brass valve we'll crank that bad boy out but yeah check that out yeah, nice, nice. Oh yeah, so we got a little bit of work to do here. Yeah? This will come apart nice and quick and easy. Thanks to our little impact we got right here. All right, there, scrapper and scrap bets. Till next time. Oh, guess what's coming up? Sunday fun day's coming up. Today's Friday afternoon. Sunday fun day. Oh, and uh, to go with the lighter side of yesterday, this is what I picked up for the wife. This is what she wanted to trade her other one in. Yeah, it's still half the size of what she was riding, but it's still a 650cc. My wife's tiny. My wife's only four foot eleven, so she can handle this bike. We've had one before, and uh, oh, it's loud because if you know, it's just got straight pipes. It's got a straight pipe exhaust off of this bad boy, so it's loud. She doesn't like that, so we're gonna change that out. But this bike is 20 years old. The reason what I like about this bike. It's got just under 13,000 miles on it. It's 20 years old. So yeah, it needs some work. It's got a couple blemishes. And uh, I know we traded a, a, a nice bike, but she couldn't ride that one. So I'd rather trade up than try to hunt somebody down and buy. So we got that big boy we're gonna go through, rip a pot. We're gonna rip the stuff out of that. Got ourselves a ceiling fan. Got some rotors right there, so some prepared steel, a little bit of cord candy, a couple of fans. Yeah, so not bad for a quick 45-minute run. So let's uh let's leave this better than we found it. 
Let's keep it clean. Let's be safe, Scrapper and Scrapettes. Thumbs up. Until Sunday fun day. That's going to be uh, hopefully a good Sunday fun day. All right, Scrapper and Scrapettes, let's be safe out there. Later.